Lots at stake here, and as you said, there could be a settlement here. If there is not, however, there will be a trial beginning in the fall. A federal judge set November 25th as the date for the government challenge to the airline merger. The Justice Department filed a lawsuit to block the merger, arguing it would lead to reduced competition and higher prices for consumers. If you're looking to book your next getaway, we are approaching the time of year where bargain travelers can find great deals. Kids are back at school and summer vacation is a distant memory. Travel from early September to mid-October, the experts say you can almost always find a good deal to somewhere fun. Those six weeks or so are the best combination of sort of weather, price, and destinations not being super crowded. So people that, that like to go to, for example, Disney off-peak, best time of the year to go. Denver, Minneapolis, and Boston are also top picks for the cheapest fall destination. And our last travel story of the day here, Hawaiian Airlines passengers getting a new onboard distraction, the iPad Mini. Starting on Sunday, the carrier will offer in-flight rentals on some routes. The iPads are free for business class travelers. If you're in coach, you can reserve one for $15. Well, hooray for anywhere but Hollywood. Yeah, the trend of shooting television shows and movies outside of Tinseltown continues, with more and more producers picking up shop and shooting on location to save money on taxes and other film expenses. Those decisions have a trickle-down effect that hurts tourism as well. 20 years ago, uh, when there was more feature film production here, I remember my nieces coming to California and saying, we want to go to the locations of Pretty Woman. Uh, you know, and that doesn't happen as much anymore. That's because a lot of these big screen movies are just not shot on the street of, streets of Los Angeles. California is now forced to compete with almost every other state in offering tax incentives to lure filmmakers. And Liberace's mansion is getting a makeover. The 15,000 square foot Las Vegas home sold for a half a million dollars this week. The new owner is a British businessman who plans to restore the home to its former glory. The two bedroom, 10 bathroom home was built back in 1962 and sits on <laughs> half an acre of property near the University of Nevada. Did that's I hear right. that correctly? Uh, that's correct. I double check. <laughs> I actually check. Well, I check the price, which seems low. That really uh, does. Right. Uh, the bedrooms seem low. And two bedrooms. And the bathrooms seem high. Yeah. So two bedrooms, ten. If you bathrooms. gotta go, you gotta go. You'll be able to find one well, within fifteen. Priority. She's not. <laughs> Just don't spend the night. Right? That's, we'll see what they do. Okay.